Hi, I'm Rick, and welcome to Woodwork Life. Let's build something. Today's project is the Clothus. So this is where I was working. It was a desk with monitors and a bunch of junk, and it was also a dining room table. And here was a closet with lots of shelves where we also kept junk. See? Like that. What I want to do is take this closet, put a walnut slab desk in it, install some Mark Spagnolo inspired shelves, and a walnut tray ceiling. Oh yeah, and a chandelier to be fancy. So what are we going to call this thing? It's a closet, it's an office, it's a clothus. Perfect. Now we had to take the old shelves apart. I had the typical steel shelves. I had good help. Yeah. It's really tight a little bit. What part of hell do you even get these from? I don't know whoever had the grand idea of 3 8 inch flathead lag bolts, but I found them. After it was all disassembled, it was trying to get kitted up to sand some drywall, one of my least favorite tasks. Now it's time for some paint. Goes on looking like toothpaste, dry as looking like Martha Stewart. Now that I had the room all prepped, it was time to select my lumber. I went to my local hardwood dealer and picked out some walnut. I found a walnut slab that looked like it had a desk sitting in it. See this curve already in here, something you can nestle right into. I also picked up some board feet of walnut for the tray ceiling and the shelving units. Now it's time to start breaking down some lumber. I started by putting a straight edge on the walnut slab. I used a straight edge and a circular saw to break it down. It would have been a lot easier with a track saw, but I don't have one yet. I saved the off cut from the slab to use for later. I used that reference edge I just created and a framing square to cut the edges. And then I used hand planes and a lot of elbow grease to flatten up the slab. It was kind of fun. I worked up a little bit of a sweat. And then I busted out the sander to clear any of the really low spots and to just generally smooth out the rest of the planing marks and whatnot. I started milling the rest of the lumber by cutting it all to a rough length. I used the Craig flip stop system to square up one edge and get rid of any unusable lumber. Then I used a stop system to cut everything to a consistent length to work with. The next stage was preparing the rest of the rough sawn lumber. I started by ripping some of the wider boards into narrower, more manageable boards. I only have a 6 inch joiner. Then I took them to the joiner to give myself one reference face and edge. After all the boards were jointed, I took them to the planer to get them to their final thickness. After they went through the planer and got to the final thickness, I took them to the table saw one last time to get the opposite parallel edge. I started with the easy part and sanding down the boards for the walnut wood paneled ceiling. I played with the board layout until I was happy with the color matching and grain matching between the different boards. This was some gorgeous black walnut. It was really easy to find a good layout. I used the two pieces that had the cathedral pattern in the center so I could see them most often and as a feature. Then I applied this special I don't know, moonshine of a finish that I use. It's a sort of a Danish oil that I kind of make myself. Once the panel was done, it was time for gratuitous slow motion. I mean, drilling the hole for the light fixture. I attached the panel with some uh, construction adhesive and a few brad nails. I got lucky because my ceiling already had a piece of half inch plywood for the nails to lock into, so it was pretty easy to put together. It went together pretty quick. So I decided to use the cutoff from the walnut slab to make sort of a saddle for the rest of the slab to rest in. That way the grain would match and the color would match. It'd be a little bit better to look in the end. I attached it with the Cell Force Impact Driver from Rooted. This is my first time using it, but man, you don't realize how big of a help that is until you use it in the closet. Then I gave the walnut slab a treatment with, again, my concoction of Danish oil type stuff. It's 
really just a finish that I find works best with walnut. Slid the panel into the saddle. Perfect fit. Now to find a fancy chandelier. Ikea is where you find fancy stuff, right? So this is a Chris Stoller that I went with, but of course I'm gonna hack it. This is the fun part, pulling off all the crystals. I got it all torn down. I taped off the sockets and hit it with a couple coats of uh, white flat paint. Then the inner Girl Scout within me started uh, threading these beads to make those things that would eventually hang down from it to replace the stupid plastic crystals. I used walnut, of course. After I finished threading the beads, it was a simple matter of putting them back together and attaching them to the chandelier. chandelier was hung, I added little tray details. These are just the two and a half inch cutoffs of some of the other boards, and I added a five eighths inch round over on them. The last step in assembling the clothis was assembling these Mark Spagnolo inspired shelves. I'm not going to come even close to explaining it as well as Mark did, so I'll link to his video here. I'll do my best to give you the Cliff Notes version though. The most important part of these shelves is to have accurate fitting dados. I did this by choosing to nibble away until I had a perfect fit. After I had the fit right, I added a 5 8 inch round over. Because remember, the difference between a couple of boards and a piece of furniture is just in visual interest. I cleared out the marks left by the router with the hand plane. And then I went to start assembling the shelf. I drilled from the inside so I could tap the holes from the outside accurately. Then I used Mark Spagnolo's tape trick to make sure I didn't have to clear up any glue squeeze out after I assembled the shelves. I brushed in some glue to all the mating surfaces. Then I fit my pieces together, making sure that my shelves were centered on the center supports. Then I attached the shelves with some pre-drilled holes with screws. After the screws were attached, I could remove the tape and it was ready for finish. These shelves are gorgeous and super easy to build. With a couple tricks from Mark, I was able to build two of these after work one day. As the shelves were installed in the clothis, it was just time to decorate. Bourbon's decoration, right? I actually still need that. Yeah, and tools are decorations too, right? Thanks for watching. I hope this inspired you to use some of your spaces in your house a little more creatively. If you liked this video, please click the like button below. If you really liked it, Go ahead and subscribe to Woodwork Life and click the little alarm icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Thanks for watching. Remember, keep your tools sharp and keep your mind even sharper.